Hello and welcome to the Video Game Valley. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. Welcome to. Welcome to the Video Game Valley. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello. Wel <laughs> welcome to the Video Game Valley. It's a beautiful day out today. Just a lovely day. Look at this lovely field we got here. Look at those flowers. Look at the... Look at this Game Boy Advance I found on that rock back there. <laughs> oh, it's 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 a perfect 72 degrees out today. I again for the second day in a row, for the second valley stream in a row, I'm drinking green tea today instead of uh in, instead of the ginger beer. I've just been feeling green tea. I think it's because I've been getting up uh, earlier, and by the time the Valley Stream comes along, I'm like, I just need a little bit, a little bit of the green tea, you know? <laughs> just need a little green tea. Mmm. Taste that. <laughs> I can taste all the green. It's, uh, it's green tea with jasmine. It's, it's delightful. It's, it's very good. It's... <laughs> It's it's very good. How are you all doing today? How is everyone? I had my first ginger beer today, sharper than I expected. Yeah, it is sharp. It's not like it's not like ginger ale's just got like a a a small ginger flavor kind of swimming around in it. Whereas ginger beer is like like someone threw a ginger root at your face. <laughs> it's a lot it's more intense, you know. That that's why I like it. That's why I like it. It's a, it's a spicy, spicy, strong drink. It's a big, strong drink. <laughs> the chat box is smaller. Is it? I'm only. <laughs> I'm I'm seeing this through uh, through the uh, the YouTube live streaming backend, so I don't I don't notice any of that. But apparently the, the chat box, has. Has, <laughs> has shrunk. I ran an emotional marathon and it was very bad, but I'm here, so it's all okay. Oh, sorry, sorry to hear that. Sorry, you had to run a whole a whole emotional marathon. That sucks. Glad to have you here again, the Wild Bunny. I drew. <laughs> I put another little bunny on the Game Boy Advance. In honor of you and the Game Boy player that you sent me, which has made all of this <laughs> possible. <laughs> I hate this small chat box. I feel like I'm squinting. You gotta. Is isn't there a <laughs> isn't there a way to to uh what do you call it? What do you call? How would enlarge? Yes, that's that's what it is. Isn't there a button <laughs> in browsers to enlarge? I know it's gonna enlarge like literally everything on the screen. So <laughs> so that's probably not really gonna help. I don't know why it's smaller. I'm sorry that it's smaller, everyone. <laughs> it was not a decision that I made. <laughs> uh, YouTube. YouTube, they do a lot of a lot of stuff. My wife and I placed a winning bid in a house yesterday. My first time owning. This is a great way to celebrate. Let's go, Barbie. I don't know if this is a great way to celebrate, but congratulations on on your winning house bid. You're you're gonna be homeowners now. You're gonna <laughs> own a whole a whole entire home. Just a whole big home. I hope you don't end up with bats. <laughs> I hope that doesn't happen. I always worry about bats and roofs, you know, because that could happen. Bats could come in and just kind of hang out in your roof. And you're just sitting there one day and you hear some, like, some fluttering. <laughs> some, like, some bat sounds. And then what do you do? You have to call a bat person. You have to call someone to come and look at the bats. They're gonna charge you an arm and a leg. Boy, howdy. Curly Bill, thank you for the five dollars. Just finished reading While I Was Murdered in a Lake Again, and it was delightful. Truly an American classic. Surely one for the ages. Well done. Thank you. I'm glad, glad you liked it. 
I'm I'm glad glad you enjoyed the uh, the the novelette. I in, I uh, enjoyed writing it. It is one of my favorites. It is in fact surely one for the ages. <laughs> Yeah, I threw out a person who groped multiple people, including me, at the Chicago Go Fest from the most exclusive Pokemon Go Club and his data duties, but also social anxiety. Jesus, that sucks. God, that sucks so much. Uh, good on you for throwing him out. That's, that, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that sucks. That sucks. God. I hope, I hope that, that person... I hope, I don't hope that, like, they get hit by a bus. I hope that, like, just a bus materializes above them and kind of, just kind of, just flattens, like, their whole body. <laughs> just, <laughs> and they don't die from it, but they end up just kind of being flat the rest of their life. Just, <laughs> they're just, like, like, cartoon flat. They have, and not like, uh. Like, like cartoon flat where it's like just you see their legs and their hands sticking out and their eyeballs and they just kind of have to waddle around like that. That's, <laughs> that's, that's what I hope. Anyway, sorry I had to deal with that. That sucks. Bonus, I didn't get an assault charge from dragging him out. Yeah, so that would be, that would be some BS if that happened. Anyway, good good job dragging him out. That yep. What what a nightmare. Umbra, thank you for the five dollars. Jason, do you remember me? Do you remember me, Jason? Remember how I stood outside your window, Jason? You remember me right. JK, have fun with Barbie. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I think about those do you remember me comments sometimes. I think <laughs> I think about those. <laughs> I'm like in my head I'm just imagining like me wandering through some sort of like like twisted afterlife desert <laughs> and just just people are crawling up to me and be like do you remember me do, do you remember me remember me and they're like grabbing at my coat i got a really long coat on in this scenario <laughs> grabbing at my super long coat and i'm like i'm sorry maybe i don't know maybe i do i can't admit yeah i think so i <laughs> think maybe and try to get away and more and more people keep coming please please do you remember me uh i'm up. <laughs> Jason, did you ever play any of the games from the Myst series? Yeah, I played... I played, I think, all except for one of them. And I beat exactly none of them. So I've... <laughs> I really liked the games. I liked walking around. But I was very bad at solving the puzzles. So I think none of them I've actually beaten. I think the first one, it's possible I beat it using a walkthrough. I've certainly seen the ending of the first one. But I haven't seen the ending of any of the other ones. So. Yeah. I'll play those on the stream at some point. I know I played uh, Mist on the Sega Saturn. On one, one Sega Saturn day. But I'm going to play the. Uh, what do you call it? The PC versions at some point. At some point. With walkthroughs. <laughs> Definitely with walkthroughs. Anyway, I'm going to hit the button now. And load up. You got. You got to hear this song. Here it comes. Yeah. <laughs> the Barbie Diaries. High school mystery. High school mystery. This short chat is super annoying. Oh man, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't even know what it looks like. You know what? I gotta. I gotta check it out real quick. I gotta see what what's going on with this short chat. Hmm. Hmm. Uh. 
Uh, okay, so I don't know where you're watching. If you go to gaming.youtube.com slash filmkyle slash live, I think you can get the old stretchy chat. <laughs> you can get a quicker link there at the vgv.com. Uh. Because <laughs> I just checked. I know everyone probably clicked on the notification. I know that's how you probably got here, but if you go to if you go to gaming.youtube.com slash filmcow slash live, then you should be able to get the regular good chat. Just this this super regular long chat. <laughs> you should you should be able to do that. So if you're super annoyed at this chat, that's that's you you got a gaming <laughs> gaming site. <laughs> Cool, you got- it works, okay, you got- <laughs> You got- we got long chat again. Hur hooray! Long chat is back! <laughs> Save the day, long chat has arrived! It's also, it's in night mode. I don't know if you're <laughs> usually watching with- with night mode. Anyway, yeah, that's that's gaming YouTube. <laughs> French Honey Badger, thank you for the ten dollars. Ten ten whole bucks. Day one hundred and twenty in Okay, yeah, I should do the voice. Day one twenty in the ghost house. Today, a ghost with the most beautiful butt I've ever seen asked me, Do you remember me? Over and over. Did I ever meet him? Why does he insist so much? Leave me alone. <laughs> that was a pretty good reading. That's <laughs> I've gotten I've gotten really good at uh, reading those li those sorts of lines of the the ghost guy voice. <laughs> Sushi fish fifty five. Thank you for the two dollars. Barbie time. Y yeet. Yes, yeet indeed. Yeet, yeet. <laughs> yeet, 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 yeet. Uh, let's, st let's start a new game. Here we go. A new, a new, whoa. Yeah, it's just going right into it. Hi, I'm Barbie. This is my school. This is my new Barbie voice. These are my friends, Tia, Courtney, and Kevin. Kevin? <laughs> They're all really sweet. This is... Ra Raquel? <laughs> is, that, is that right? Is that a Q? I can't tell if that was a Q. Raquel and so something. The, bee, the Queen Bee. Major ick factor there. Oh. Uh, Okay, I missed some of that dialogue. Sorry, I was, I was trying to see if that was a cue. I think I'll try out for the school TV anchor position. There's no way Mr. Wexler can say no. I have terrible secrets about Mr. Wexler. I'm blackmailing Mr. Wexler. <laughs> no! Ra Raquel's already led to the position. Maybe if you broke a big news story... My secrets were not enough. <laughs> Guys, big news! Someone's stolen all the items from this year's charity auction! Alright, Kevin. Well, <laughs> Barry's really surprised about this. The one that benefits the students at Moore High. And there's more! Look at this note! Uh, it says the items aren't stolen. They've been hidden around the school. <laughs> Does Principal Peters know? I do know. Mr. Bennett just told me all about it. Oh my god, this guy. We think it's best not to get the authorities involved. That guy's guilty. <laughs> now this is an anchor-worthy story. 
We're ahead of you, Mr. Wexler, and light years ahead of you, Warflower. Bobby, this is your chance. Break this story and you'll land the anchor job for sure. Stick around till everyone leaves. I think I have something that might help you. It's a clue. <laughs> Whoa, look at that walk cycle. That was really good. Okay, well, I hope you like the voices I've chosen for these characters. I think they're all very, I think they're all very appropriate. <laughs> they're all good, good voices. Alright, so we got... I can walk. I can do that pose. None of the other buttons seem to do anything right now. I should keep looking for clues in this room. Why do the characters look like pedophiles? It's just that one guy. That one guy just gave you the heebie-jeebies, let me tell you. Like, they made him... They made him look real weird. I don't know. <laughs> They, they made him look like his, even his skin tone. It was just like it was it was not a human, a healthy human skin tone. It was like too gray. It was too gray. I don't know. I don't trust him. I don't. Trust, I think he's the thief. Okay, Kevin. What what the heck do you want? Okay, everyone's gone. What's up, Kev? Check out this note, it's covered in paint spatter! Find more of this and you're bound to find more clues! But how do I find paint spatter? Use this, I call it the BDA! It's got everything you need, including a map of the school and a diary section for notes! Thanks, Kevin, you're a... genius. <laughs> Plus, it's totally upgradable and way styling! Use the infrared scope to find hidden traces of paint! We can also receive text messages so we can keep in touch. Great. Kevin. <laughs> How do you use it? It's easy. Just press start to pull it up, press the A button to access the menus, and press the B button to back out. Can't take credit for the compact mirror. That has Courtney written all over it. Ha ha, I should have guessed. Wish me luck. Good luck, I'm switching you to infrared now. Boop 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 boop. Great, this is <laughs> perfect. perfect. Huh, there's a bunch of sta weird stains on the floor, huh? Perfect. Gross. <laughs> Super gross. What is... What is... What is going on here? How do I... How do I turn infrared off? I'm looking for paint spatter. Oh, paint spatter. Okay, <laughs> so, I really thought it was blood. I thought it was like, we've uncovered a murder. It turns out, <laughs> it turns out the thief was covering up for a, a, da a more dastardly crime. Seriously, how do I turn this freaking eye off? Come on. How, how the heck is that infrared? That's a very good question. Sushi Fish 55 thank you for the $2. It was Principal George Costanza the whole time. <laughs> I'm looking for paint spatter. Okay, yeah, that's the map. Great, great map. Hallway, perfect. Oh my god, seriously, how do I turn this infrared off? <laughs> oh god. Clues menu. None. I got no clues. I got n zero clues. Map. We have already seen the map. Uh, auction items? Alright, I guess I'll figure that out at some point. Message viewer. None. Diary. Here it is, the diary. I'm looking for paint spatter. <laughs> Good diary. <laughs> You probably need to find the first clue. Yeah, I guess so. I'm looking for paint clues. Is this a... Is this a clue? What is... 
What is going on? <laughs> this animation. It looks like Barbie's like trying really hard to pick it up. Ugh. What? What is this? <laughs> uh. 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 Okay. Well, I guess I can't pick that up. Cough! So much smoke! I'd better find something to clear the hall with. Why is that your job? Why is this just... There's a bunch of... There's a bunch of smoke here. Why is this your job, Barbie? Also, I just noticed that if you're walking left or if you're walking right, she always goes into a rest pose facing that direction. Okay. Okay, gotta clear up this smoke. This door is locked. I've gotta clear up this smoke. Okay, I gotta clear up the smoke. <laughs> Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> I don't wanna talk to you, Kevin. I feel like I probably have to talk to you, and that sucks, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin! I'm very upset. I should keep looking for clues in this room. Okay. Kevin. I have a fan that might be able to help clear the smoke. It's over in the corner. Thank you, Kevin. This should do the trick. You're the... Best, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin gave me a fan. I hate Kevin. <laughs> I wish I did not need to get things like fans from Kevin. Yes. Why do you hate Kevin, Jason? I don't know. <laughs> I don't hate Kevin as much as I hated what's his name from the horse game. But, you know, I got I just I just immediately am like, I don't I don't trust this Kevin here. I'm concerned that Barbie's outfit is pretty much my everyday outfit. <laughs> she's got, I mean, it, you know, she's, Barbie's got, Barbie's got style, Barbie's not. <laughs> it's like if you, if you dress, there's worse people to dress like than Barbie. Barbie's got, Barbie's got a good look, you know? <laughs> In some, in some iterations, in some Barbie iterations. No, seriously, how do I use this fan? I, I like, I like this particular Barbie look. <laughs> this. Oh. Kevin gave me a fan. I can't figure out how to, oh, oh, I pushed this, okay, great. Perfect. <laughs> I don't know why that was so hard. 17 piping ounces of that sweet crab sauce. Thank you for the $2. You always hate the male lead in Barbie games. That is not true. Barbie Mystery Cruise. That, the, uh, what's his name in that game? I, I like that guy. I like, <laughs> I liked him a lot because he was just like, I'm gonna look at the art. <laughs> I like that about, about his character. He was just there. He was excited to see some art and to be on a boat. He was real happy about being on a boat. And he just kind of stood in one place the whole game. <laughs> I appreciated that about him. Seriously, what is going on in the lab? This door is locked. Okay. Wow, there's goo all over this door. Uh, 
Oh, here we go. Here's some mysterious paint. Oh, God. <laughs> Are you okay, Barbie? <laughs> I'm really happy they animated that. Good job, game makers. Jason, I think you missed a super chat. Which one? Did I? N I don't think so. I don't think I did. I think I got them all. <laughs> I'm sure this is the right place, but there's so much stuff in here. I'm not sure where to look. The BDA is buzzing. It looks like a picture file, but it's all jumbled up. It signaled secret admi- it's signed, <laughs> sorry, signed secret admirer. Who could it be from? Maybe Kevin can help me with this. No. No, stop going back to Kevin. Why can't Barbie examine this paint here? <laughs> Why can't Barbie examine this paint? Trail ended in the art room. Yes. With me finding the source of the paint. <laughs> I was... Why can't I pick this up? Dusted for prints, you know? Okay, we slipped enough. <laughs> uh... What? 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 What is the one? Oh, okay. I... Did you get this strange photo too from SA? Come see me in AV room. Side kit. Kevin. <laughs> I guess, I guess that's from Kevin. Shouldn't be using that voice. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Why is Kevin sending me encrypted photos? <laughs> I mean, encrypted messages. Kevin, Kevin, you can just send me a regular text message. Scrambled photos, eh? Luckily, I have a picture to scramble her. For your BDA, use the A button to select a piece of the photo, then select the second piece and swap them. It's simple. Oh, this is how they scrambled it? <laughs> cool. Is oh, no, that's right. Uh, da 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 Hmm. Is that it? Is that? Oh, I got. Oh no, I gotta do. <laughs> oh God. God, just in time. <laughs> Hmm, that big red cabinet looks familiar. I need to figure out where I saw that. Thanks. Kevin. <laughs> hey, no problem! <laughs> I need to find a red cabinet. I need to find <laughs> a red cabinet. I need to find <laughs> a red cabinet. This door is locked. This door is also locked. Principal, I come to you with... Oh. <laughs> You're gone. Well, I'll search your office then. 
In case you're the criminal, I must leave no stone unturned. And I've lost interest. Okay, Regan. Great. Great, Regan. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Regan. Regan. Regan, I like your look. Regan. Your look. It's very good. Regan. Regan, your attitude. I'm not so sure about, but Regan. <laughs> Regan, your look. Very good. This door is locked. We're trapped in it. <laughs> We're trapped. This is a fire hazard. Regan. <laughs> Regan, someone's trying to kill us. This door is locked. Regan. And it not close yet. No. No, Kevin. There isn't any new clues yet, Kevin. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't even on purpose. Alright, well, I guess we found the red thing. Here we go. Examine the cabinet. This is the red cabinet in that photo. Let's see what's inside of it. The graphics make it look like Barbie has a full tat sleeves, and that's pretty cool. Yes. <laughs> oh man, I would love, I would love to see, I would love to see tattooed Barbie. I would, <laughs> I want to, I want them to do like they do like career Barbies. I want to see goth Barbie. I want to see industrial Barbie. I want to see scene Barbie. <laughs> that's that's what I want. Take the handbag. It's an auction item. The handbag. It's empty, except for a small note in it that looks like it's written backwards. I'll bet the BDA mirror can help me read it. Hmm. Hmm. Chemistry. One. Oh. One. A new clue. The note says, Chemistry 101. Maybe I should check out the lab next door. That's what clues are. Clues tell you exactly where to go. <laughs> clues are notes. <laughs> Do you wish to save the game? Yes. Uh, yeah, sure. In the 90s, there was actually a Barbie that came with temp tattoos, but parents hated it. Man, parents hate a lot of stuff. <laughs> parents... <laughs> There's a lot of things that parents hate. <laughs> Let me tell you. Many, many things. Mr. Bennett. Oh, God. <laughs> Mr. Bennett. Mr. Bennett, I am not a fan, Mr. Bennett. Oh god, I missed what you said. Something about an assignment. No thank you, Mr. Bennett. I'm almost through with it. Right now, I'm trying to track down the stolen auction items. I'm not saying I suspect you, but you're my number one suspect, Mr. Bennett. Have you seen anything that might help? Would you like to come clean with anything? No, not lately. Though someone did lock my lab kit at the far end of the room and changed the code. I'll check it out, Mr. Bennett. Oh, Barbie. Yes, Mr. Bennett. Thank you for clearing the smoke from the hallway. One of my students decided she had more important things to do and left the Bunsen burner on! <laughs> I try to come up with a voice for Mr. Bennett, and all these are bad. All these are bad. Glad I could help Mr. Bennett. Don't worry about it, I, I, Barbie. Don't worry. Yes. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Barbie. Bye. <laughs> it's got an electronic combination lock. 
It would take me all year just to guess the combination. I'd better go see if Kevin can find a way to crack this code. I like the lisp that materialized halfway through. Yeah, I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to do that. There's so many, like, villains with lisps things, and it's like... It's kind of... It's kind of yucky <laughs> doing that. Like, it, it materialized accidentally, and I got rid of it as quickly as I could, because I was like, nope, not going to do that. <laughs> Not gonna do that. Not gonna do the villain with a speech impediment thing. Anyway, what did we just find out? <laughs> where did... Oh my god, where did Mr. Where did Mr. Bennett go? <laughs> where, where did Mr. Bennett go? That is so creepy. <laughs> So creepy! Mr. Bennett's just gone. God. <laughs> Mr. Bennett! Uh. Like, there is no way that Mr. Bennett is not up to no good. I'm just saying, I got a bad feeling about this Mr. Bennett. Man, I like this. Look at this. Look at the gif work on this hair here. Look, you can see the change in luminance. <laughs> As she walks back and forth, that is, that is, that is very good GIF work. Jeez, that is nice. <laughs> good work. Okay, let me check my diary. The lab kit is locked up tight. Great. <laughs> okay, well that that helps me a whole lot. Just a, a lot. Do you wish to save the game? Yes. The door is still locked. Great. Kevin. Kevin, I think maybe I need to talk to you again. Kevin. Kevin. Electronic lock? I'll modify the BDA so it can also detect recent fingerprints. Now you just have to figure out what order the buttons were pressed in. Thanks again, Kevin. <laughs> Helpful as always, Kevin. I'm really annoyed at how helpful Kevin's being. <laughs> Now to unlock this thing. Let's see. Three, five, and zero. Five, three, zero. Was that it? It was. I guessed it perfectly. Perfectly. <laughs> now I have a cutting edge cell phone. Look at this. <laughs> One of a kind handbag, cutting edge, cell phone. Another auction item, the cell phone. Go me. I'm kind of afraid to ask, but what is exa exactly does BDA stand for? Uh... Big personal accessory. Big old, per big old personal accessory. <laughs> oh no, I'm getting another encrypted message from Kevin. Kevin. Come to AV room, received a strange MP3 from... Ga? S-A? Ga? <laughs> I think we can decode it. All right. Kevin. <laughs> I'm coming to see you, Kevin. So now your secret admirer is sending us scrambled MP3s. My what? Stop messing with my head, Kevin. 
I kid you not, here, use this MP3 decoder for your BDA. As the notes pass through the BDA decoders, at the bottom of the screen, press the corresponding button. You need to hit 10 notes just right to decipher the song. Give it a shot. Kevin, you've made this way more complicated than it needs to be. Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. Okay. I'm not getting any feedback on this, Kevin. I don't know if it's working. Oh, it's working. Yes, thank you. Does that song sound familiar? It does, but I can't place it. Maybe you should go find Tia. Where is she? Try the art room. She wasn't in there a second ago. I need Tia's opinion on this MP3. Someone keeps sending me encrypted Smash Mouth songs. <laughs> I delete them, and every time I delete them, it turns into a Blink-182 song instead. I'm not sure if this is an improvement. <laughs> Tia. Tia, please. Please help me. Hey, Bobby! We hear that song all the time! It's the song they play during morning announcements! Where do they play the announcements from? The school office at the other end of the hall! Thank you, Tia. Always nice to talk to you, Tia. Tia, you're the only one. The only one I can trust in this terrible school, Tia. <laughs> Regan, Regan, I'm not going to talk to you again. I know you're going to say something rude. Regan, I just want you to know I really want to talk to you. I really do. <laughs> this is not where... Oh my god, you're here. <laughs> Principal, you're here. Principal Peters, I have a question about the morning announcements. Bobby, the mail is just piling up. Think you can lend a hand? Up uh, shit. Sh sure, not a problem. Bennett has to go in Bennett. West has to go west. Wexler must go to Wexler. Delaney, Delaney, you go here. Estes, Davis, West, West, Peters. My aren't we popular, Peters? Estes, Marley, not so popular, Marley. Here's your first mail. West. West, geez, West and Estes, you're getting all of the mail. Wexler, Wexler, Peters, finally, Peters is going up in the world. Bennett, I'm done. It's all done. Nicely done, Barbie. Now I believe you had a question. It's about the music for morning announcements. We keep the CDs in the media bin. Go ahead and take a look if you like. Thank you. Where's... Where's the bin? Media bin. Let's see what's in here. Hey. I found another auction item. The walkie-talkie wristwatches. Great. Walkie-talkie and watch. All in one. I'm getting another one of these ridiculous encrypted messages. Kevin, just send me a regular text. Meet me in the chem lab. Co oh, this is Courtney. <laughs> Courtney's sending encrypted texts now. Great. <laughs> Kevin's got everyone in on this encrypted text phase. Regan, are you okay? I usually zone out during announcements. That's my new Regan voice. I can't believe you don't have something better to do. I usually zone out during announcements. I can't believe you have something better to do. I usually zone out during it. <laughs> Regan, I will leave you to yourself. Regan. K. 
Kevin. I don't remember where I'm supposed to be. I'm not gonna talk to you unless it's absolutely necessary. So let me check my diary. Gotta meet Courtney in the lab. Thank God. Thank God, I forgot. <laughs> it's not you, Kevin. Courtney, are you here? What, 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 what was that, <laughs> Courtney? Is that? Are those butterfly knives, Courtney? <laughs> are you? <laughs> are you flipping around butterfly knives in school, Courtney? What is that? What are you doing, Courtney? <laughs> the sexual toast. Thank you for the five dollars. I tricked my girlfriend into watching your movie while we were high, and she loved it. Jack of all trades, master of all trades, was her favorite line. Thank you. I'm, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm very proud of all of the, uh, the lines I do where it's like a saying but gotten wrong in a very specific way. <laughs> I had a, uh, a line in A Dark Midnight, which was like, My mind is like a well-oiled eagle. And that's- <laughs> I just love those kind of jokes, I don't know. Anyway, Courtney. Courtney, you're too cool for this school, Courtney. <laughs> Courtney! Courtney, teach me your- your ways with a blade, Courtney. What, what voice did I- I don't think I've done Courtney... yet. <laughs> Amber Sweet, thank you for the two dollars. Everyone in this game is screaming internally. Probably, I think that's- <laughs> that's a good read. Alright, let me come up with a Courtney. Oh no. Oh no, I missed what Courtney was gonna- what did Courtney say? <laughs> what did Courtney say? I'll- I'll just come up with something for Courtney. Yeah, I'm learning some, uh, some of these good blade tricks. Learning all these... Learning how to flip some knives. Flip them, just flip them around. <laughs> I'm really good. I'm getting really good. I can do two at once now, and I, I, uh, I rarely cut myself. Only, only got a couple cuts. But, you know, I'm getting some cool hand scars. <laughs> getting some of these, these sweet hand scars. There you go, that's a good Courtney voice. Sit cedar Okay, I guess we gotta... F we gotta figure this out. What letters could this possibly be? What... While you were out partying, Courtney was studying the blade. <laughs> I hope... I really hope that every time you see Courtney, she just got, she's just got more and more, more and more blades. Uh. Oh yeah, K. <laughs> K, of course. Speaker. The only place I know with any speakers is the uh, the AV room. Good theory, Court. I'll go <laughs> I'll go ask Kevin. That's a good man, if my name was Courtney, I would absolutely go by court and every time every time I would like judge people I'd be like the the court is now in session. That's that's a name joke. <laughs> my name is Courtney. I judge people and I call myself court when I do so I could say that. I'm gonna keep Flipping my blades now. <laughs> See ya. See ya, Barbie. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck, Barbie. How many times do we have to talk to Kevin? Uh, I don't know. Too many times. Hey, Kevin. Courtney thinks that there might be a clue in a speaker in the AV room. Well, I just finished organizing the sound equipment and didn't see anything strange. What could the clue mean, then? Maybe it doesn't mean, like, a stereo speaker. Maybe it means a person who speaks. So maybe I should check out the auditorium. Sounds good to me. Boop boop. Also, the cafeteria just opened, so you can just cut right through there. Thank you, Kevin. Kevin says check out the auditorium.
Jason, do you mind if people call you Jay? I personally dislike when people use my nickname Dave. Uh, no one has ever called me, <laughs> no ever called me Jay. I don't think I like Jay that much. <laughs> I don't, no. No, I, I do not think that I would like Jay. I think people don't call me Jay, because, like, that's, that's a whole name. That's, like, a whole separate name that people actually have. Uh, let's go to the cafeteria. What are you doing, Regan? <laughs> oh no, a food fight. Do people still have those? Gotta try to not get hit. Oops. <laughs> Regan, ah. Regan, you son of a gun. You absolute fool. Regan, I can't believe you're doing this, Regan. Principal. Certainly, I make announcements at the auditorium podium during pep rallies. Bobby, please, I'm very busy. Looking stern. Someone oh god <laughs> I should have known. I absolutely should have known that that would have been slippery. Who is this? Hello. Hello, who are you? Look. Try the auditorium. Da. Okay, Dawn. Thank you, Dawn. Man, it's it's weirding me out cuz I used to know someone named Dawn and they looked <laughs> It looked almost exactly like this. That's, that's real weird for me, I gotta be honest. <laughs> gotta be honest, that looked su super weird. What are these other rooms? The roof. This door is locked. Why is she in a pantsuit? Why, is, why would Dawn not be in a pantsuit? That's a good fashion choice. This door is locked. Whoops! I did it on purpose that time. <laughs> Oh, I can go to the library, okay. Maybe that's her, she transcended reality and put herself into this game. That sounds like something Dawn would do. <laughs> the Dawn I, no, I knew had that sort of, that sort of can-do attitude, you know? Nothing. Nothing here but books. Jump over. Whoa! Good <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> good job, Barbie. God, dude, what a hop! What a what a hip hippity hop there, Barbie. Good, good work. I think your animation dinosaur phone call was truly underrated, my. Friends quote it constantly. Well, thank you, Melissa. I, uh... <laughs> I really like how that one turned out as well. Why is that an option? I have no idea. I have no clue. Goodbye, Dawn. I must leave for the auditorium. Farewell, Dawn. Well, what is going on here? <laughs> Yeah, a big disco ball, huh? Oh god, Mr. Bennett. How is that relevant to science? There you go, that's my Mr. <laughs> Mr. Bennett voice. I don't know, Mr. Bennett. Why don't you tell me, Mr. Bennett? The thief? I should keep looking for clues in this room. How is that relevant to science? Mr. Bennett, calm down. Mr. Bennett, please. <laughs> I should keep looking for clues in this room. How? Oh, it's here. Found the auction item. Robopup. Hey, there's something stuck in his collar. Robopup, huh? 
Laptop repair kit receipt. The thief is someone who needed to get a laptop repaired. The receipt is from the school store. Perhaps I should check it out. Mr. Bennett, have you needed to get a laptop fixed recently? Huh? Why don't you e ever ask this many questions when you're in class? Ah! Mr. Bennett. Mr. Bennett, I don't think you should work at this school, Mr. Bennett. <laughs> I am filing a complaint with the PTA, Mr. Bennett. I should keep looking for clues in this room, the school store, where I can buy shirts. <laughs> And whatever these things are, I can buy these big foam hands. So many foam hands. Hello, Charlie. You're Charlie, right? You just transferred? Yeah, from Moore High. What's it to you, Barbie? You know my name? Just because us wallflowers are invisible to you popular types doesn't mean you're invisible to us. Popular? Me? You must be joking. And why do you think you're invisible? Look, is this something you want? <laughs> Take a look at this receipt. Did somebody buy a laptop repair kit today? They took the last one. Somebody from the yearbook staff. Ordered it this morning. Did you see who picked it up? I was at lunch. They did leave a book here by accident, though. It's about code breaking. This is from the school library. Are we done here? I guess we are. And Charlie, I can see you just fine. I can see that you're... You're clearly one of those... <laughs> I don't know. One of those... You probably post a lot on some specific Reddit subgroups <laughs> that I'm not going to mention. Charlie. Charlie, I know your, your type, Charlie. Charlie, I'm leaving. I'm never speaking to you again. Charlie. <laughs> I should keep looking in this room for clues? Oh god. No, I want to get away. <laughs> I want to get away from Charlie. Please. God. Take care of yourself, Barbie. I'll check out the library. Library book on codes? Cool. Yeah, let's go to the library. Man, how did you not- <laughs> how did you not slip on this? I can't even walk near it without just falling over, just flying down. <laughs> Please, tell me your secrets. <laughs> you keep digging like this, you'll just end up dirty. What? <laughs> why did why did you whisper that? You keep digging like this, you'll just end up dirty. Wait, wait what? <laughs> You're like so lucky I don't report you. That's Barbie's voice. Why am I using that? I, just, <laughs> I don't remember what voice did I use for Dawn? It's very important I remember this. Where's the library again? All right, library. Do one more, one more jump. Whoop. Yes, I found the electronic dictionary, and it's already got. It's already got what? <laughs> it's already got something. It's already got batteries. The word yearbook keeps coming up. Oh. 
Oh. <laughs> okay. I guess I gotta go to the yearbook staff then. I guess that's what is next for Barbie. Do you wish to save your game? Yes. Well, we're at one hour, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, <laughs> we'll definitely continue this game next Thursday. I'm, uh... I'm, I'm very into it so far. <laughs> I, uh... I don't think it's the best Barbie game we've played, but it is a good one. I do like... <laughs> I do like this one. This one has got a lot of charm. Hopefully I remember the voices I used in this, because, uh... <laughs> I think I think I, I I nailed all the character voices. I really captured their essence here this time. If you got any questions, I'll answer a few questions before I go. I don't understand what the mystery is, and no gems, but ten out of ten. It's the mystery of who took all the auction items and put them just all over the school for some reason. <laughs> There's a robo dog. Oh yeah, that was one of the auction items. It's a a robot, a robot dog. <laughs> a a robot, a robot dog. Jason, Mary, Charlie. No, if this. <laughs> If there's, if there's anyone I'm going to marry, it's going to be uh, uh, Courtney or Dawn. Probably Courtney because of the knives. That's, <laughs> I, really, I really like she's just flipping around some some uh, some switchblades. Have you seen the new She-Ra yet? Uh, the, uh, the art and stuff? Yeah, I'm, I'm looking more forward to She-Ra than probably any other show at this point. <laughs> I'm, I'm super excited about the new She-Ra. No, Barbie's gonna date Courtney. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I meant Barbie. I was, I wasn't talking about me. I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be going out with any any high schoolers. Jesus. <laughs> Courtney can protect you from Mr. Bennett and Charlie. Yeah, I hope this game ends with like a fight between Courtney and Mr. Bennett, with Courtney having to, having to fight off Mr. Bennett and, and using her her knife skills. Mr. Bennett, absolutely no match. <laughs> no match for, uh, for Courtney and her mastery of the blade. Barbie is a vampire, vampire Barbie diaries. Man, I would, <laughs> I would 100% play a game in which Barbie is a vampire. Absolutely. Are there any deleted scenes from Llamas with Hats? No, I don't... <laughs> Usually there's not deleted scenes with uh, short animations, generally. But yeah, no. Barbie is kept young, uh, forever young by being a vampire. Sure, that sounds, that sounds about right. Have you seen the new, the new vlogging Barbie? <laughs> Barbie vlogs now? And it's it's really, it's real weird, like seeing seeing modern Barbie, because like modern Barbie is, is really well done. It's like it's like really well written and really well acted, and it's uh, it's <laughs> it's it's super strange to see, to see. Uh, I asked you about the vlogging Barbie. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't see that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Amber. But yeah, yeah. There's a uh, uh, Barbie vlogs now, and it's like, it's it's really well animated, well acted, well uh, well written. It's all very good. It's all, it's all super good. Even her design is super good. It's okay. I don't know. I think for Barbie especially, it's like, <laughs> like I love Barbie, but Barbie's never been like, good. It, the Barbie stuff, it's always been like, it's very much been a, uh, 
you know, a brand more than anything. So to see, <laughs> to see like a very human-like Barbie, to see an extremely human being like Barbie, as opposed to just kind of a walking brand. It was a little, it was a little weird the first time, like, when I was watching it. It was like, Jesus. <laughs> like, it's super surreal seeing Barbie as, like, coming across as a real, actual person who exists. <laughs> Very strange. But good. I'm glad, uh, whoever's, whoever's working on modern Barbie, very good job. I hope that Barbie gets, gets some video games. Jason, should we write some Vampire Barbie fanfic for you? Well, you should write some Vampire Barbie fanfic for the world. Tell me a bedtime story, please. Okay, here's a bedtime story. A long time ago, before the age of humans, there was the age of the sentient beds... There was an evil bed king who was a twin size, ironically. <laughs> a twin size bed king. And this bed king was no good. Just a no good bed king hogging all of the blankets in the whole kingdom in his king castle, which was made out of pillows. <laughs> it was a pillow castle. And then one day, one day, a, a lowly, a lowly bard named Tabitha, the bed, <laughs> decided she had enough with this bed king. And she just sort of broke into the castle on account of it was made out of pillows. And she just set the king on fire. It, the king just kind of went up real easy because the king was a bed and also surrounded by all the blankets, which also caught on fire. The king and all the blankets and the castle just kind of burned up. And the king died real quick. <laughs> real quick. And super painfully. And and then everyone was like, Jesus, Tabitha. <laughs> you know, thanks for getting rid of the king. But God, that was... <laughs> we all saw that. The king was screaming. It was... God, that was something. I don't know. <laughs> and then Tabitha was like, Well, you weren't doing anything. No one was doing anything. And then they were like, Yeah, I mean... <laughs> you got us there. We really weren't doing much, but still. God, that was... Wow. <laughs> and then they decided to form a bed council instead of having a king. And Tabitha was invited to be on the council, but Tabitha didn't really have, didn't really want to be on it. She had other stuff to do. <laughs> now that society was more equitable, she was like, she was just kind of following her own stuff, her own dreams. Things didn't really work out, though. They all, they all died and humans came, came into existence. And we use their corpses now as beds. That's right. <laughs> That's right. All the beds today, they're just... They're the bodies from that world. Sleep well, everyone. I hope... <laughs> hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed the story. Cleo, thank you for the the two British pounds. I think that's British Is that yeah, I think that's British pounds. I shouldn't have stayed up so late for Barbie. Good night. Good night, Cleo. <laughs> Good night. I hope you sleep well. On your corpse bed. Da 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 ba da 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 I'm gonna have nightmares. No, don't I mean none of it's true. <laughs> You don't gotta worry about about that, you know. It was just a story. Or 
what is it? Da 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 I don't know why I'm going into that music. Just, I guess, guess to break the tension, you know. <laughs> and now my nightmares will have a kitschy jingle. <laughs> Man, that would be weird. That would be weird. I get nightmares, like, all the time. And, uh... It would be something else if <laughs> some sort of jingle started playing during them. <laughs> Shadow. Zioner. Zloner. <laughs> Shadows. Shadow X Loner. Shadow Zloner. Thank you for the $5. Thanks for the Barbie Bonanza. Looking forward to seeing you play Mist. I'm I'm looking forward to playing some mist. I also got real mist. I got I got that too. Is that any good? Is real mist any good? I haven't played real mist, but I have it now. I have real mist. That's the one where you just kind of walk around in three D. It's real. <laughs> it's like mist, but it's real now. That'll happen at some point. I don't know when. There's, uh, at some point I'm going to add PC stuff into the, uh, the valley, uh, uh, like what I play in the valley, but it's all going to be, it's specifically going to be, like, old adventure games and stuff. And then a few, uh, like, I'll probably, I think, I think the two genres of PC stuff that I'm going to play is going to be, like, old adventure games and, like, modern visual novel stuff or like indie stuff that I find particularly interesting but mostly like old like Sierra sort of sort of, <laughs> sort of games Duke Nukem no that's see that's exactly the type of game I'm not going to be playing on the street on the stream Leona, thank you for the four ninety nine. What if nightmares are the bed soul possessing us? Oh no. You've you've discovered a <laughs> terrible secret. Jason, will you play Parasite Eve? You will love that game. Uh yes, at some point. I have played a little Parasite Eve before. Oh, sorry, I just hit the microphone. I'm sorry if that <laughs> sounded terrible. Uh, I have played some Parasite Eve at one point, but not a whole lot of it. But yeah, I'll I think I'll play that on stream. Is that one that gets too too upsetting? I feel like the PS1 era upsetting games are like janky enough that it, it they're fine. But I'm not sure. Had a full boyfriend. Yeah, no, absolutely that that is absolutely one of the more modern PC games that I will play. I see Skeffy contributes a lot to your work. What else do they work uh, do work wise? Uh, they do a lot of uh, like art stuff outside of film cow things. Uh, they used to uh, do a lot of masks. Uh, th th I don't think they've done masks in a while. Um, right now they've been into scrumbling. <laughs> scrumbling is a type of yarn thing, and it's real cool. I like the scrumbles that they're making. You should play Shrek the video game. I have multiple Shrek games. I have, <laughs> I have a number of Shreks. Would you do a Half-Life stream? I don't know, maybe. I like... So, I really like Half-Life 2 on account of... On account of you just kind of... My favorite part... I genuinely love Half-Life 2. It's one of my favorite games just because of the walking around. Like, the shooting stuff I find pretty boring, but walking around, walking around and just sort of, like, looking at stuff is, is super fun. And that game is really well designed for that sort of thing. I just love... <laughs> I just love finding buildings and going into the buildings and just kind of looking at all the stuff. 
and then getting out of the buildings, get, getting into a little river boat. <laughs> Not a river boat, a little a little hover hover boat. Going around. It's just It's it's very fun. Would you ever play Earthbound on stream? Yeah, I got I got Earthbound. I'll pl I'm going to play that after Chrono Trigger is finished. There's a Shrek game for the original Xbox. Yeah, there's a couple. I have I have a few. I don't know if I have it for Xbox or PS2, but I have that era of Shrek games. <laughs> I, got, I got them. I vastly prefer Half-Life 1 to Half-Life 2. Uh, I don't know. Like, I like... I like Half-Life 1, but it doesn't have the same sort of exploration thing for me. Like, I do like it. It just doesn't... The thing that Half-Life 2 does for me is specifically the exploration. That's what I like most in games. Exploration. Exploration. Would you ever think about posting your streams? What are you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, they're all... They're all saved. You can... The, like, the playlist is in the description. Is that what you mean? They, they, they do save and they go on the big playlist. Nope, we do not post streams here. Never. Would you ever make a DVD of your streams? <laughs> yeah, I'll just uh, every every stream will get its own DVD, its own whole DVD, <laughs> and you can order signed copies of individual stream DVDs. Each one will have custom artwork done for it. <laughs> can I get it on VHS? Maybe. I think I, I think I can burn stuff to VHS. I'm not sure. I have this combination DVD VCR and I don't I think I can copy stuff to VHS. Can I get it on beta? No, I don't have a, a beta recorder, sorry. Laserdisc? No, I don't got, I don't got a laserdisc presser either. <laughs> Have you ever seen Geppetto starring Drew Carey? No, I haven't. I saw the trailer for Geppetto starring Drew Carey, <laughs> but I have not seen Geppetto starring Drew Carey. Would you ever consider reviewing movies? Uh, if I could figure out a way to do it in an interesting way. Like, I don't know. I don't like... I'm at a point where I don't really like doing stuff if I don't think that I can bring some sort of interesting take to it. Like, I didn't stream for a long time because I was like, what am I even going <laughs> to bring to live streams? And the answer was, a beautiful valley. Just a lovely, <laughs> lovely valley. So if I can come up with a, with a format that I think suits me and is interesting. Just talk about the movies and just chat. I don't know. I, <laughs> like, I like, I like this for games because games are a relaxing social sort of thing anyway. But movies, I don't know. I get I get more serious about discussing films. <laughs> so, I'd want to be a little bit more academic, but only a little bit, just a tiny a tiniest bit more academic. Will there be merch for your live streams? No, probably not. <laughs> I don't know what kind of merch I would do for the live streams. Will Carl be back from the dead? No. 
No, he's, he's dead. Sorry. Not coming back. Vampire Barbie action figure. Well, that would... <laughs> I'll, I'll call up Mattel and say, Hey, I got a... I got a... Got a great idea on how we can collaborate. I got a great collaboration idea here. Lynx plush. I don't know how happy Jeez Louise would be about <laughs> me monetizing them. I'm not <laughs> I'm not sure if they would be super into that. A mock action figure. Yes, I'm <laughs> Merchandise for the uh, the video game valley includes action figures of the Sega Saturn, uh, whatever that is, Amok. Boxers or briefs? Uh, boxer briefs. I would buy a Lynx plush in an instant. Yeah, I guess I could just... There's, there's probably someone who just straight up makes regular Lynx splashes. I could just get those and be like... And just resell them to people for more for more money. <laughs> I just go go on Amazon, look for a Lynx plush. People buy the Lynx plush. I just order an Amazon for them. <laughs> No, it has to be Jeez Louise. Oh, it's gotta be. It's gotta, <laughs> gotta be this exact links, huh? <laughs> and you could de you could definitely tell. Do a Banana King plushie. Man, there's a lot of plushies that I would do if I was certain they would sell. But they're just so expensive to produce. You might you gotta make like a thousand of them. It's it's a lot. It's a lot of money. It would need to glow and everything. Man, there's a lot of requirements for these lynxes to really drive up the price. Anyway, I think that's about it for tonight. Thank you all for tuning in. <laughs> Thank you all for for joining me with this game. I had a good time with this game. Definitely going to play it next Thursday. Tomorrow is Silent Hill. I <laughs> this is the schedule I've I've worked out. We just, <laughs> just go from Barbie to Silent Hill. It's cut. I feel like I could create a transition through my schedule. Just a, a better transition for these games. <laughs> but, you know, tomorrow, Silent Hill. Until then, thank you all for tuning in. I, I, had a, I hope you have a great day. Great evening, great whatever. Farewell, everyone. I love you all. <laughs>